Hey guys, welcome back to Kira's Cakes. Today is Thursday, August 27th, and today is um, a baking day. So this weekend I have two wedding cakes due, and they're both for um, the same day. And then for one of those cakes, they also wanted um, chocolate chip cookies, crinkle cookies, blondies, and brownies. So I made my list over here, and what I have to do today. So you can see here, this is what I have to do today. I have to go to the grocery store, make raspberry cake filling, and bake the vanilla cakes. So, it's a two-tier cake. There's gonna be three layers on the top tier, and then three layers of this one on the bottom tier. So I have to make six of these, and six of these to make enough for both wedding cakes. But first, before I do that, I have to take the dog to doggy daycare, and I'm gonna go to the grocery store on the way back. This guy is gonna go to doggy daycare for the day. I cleaned the floors and the countertops and now I am going to empty the dishwasher and then get started on my vanilla cakes. All of the cakes are in the oven. My uh, Nine inch cakes are in the oven. The six inch cakes are out. And I'm just getting ready to make raspberry cake filling. So I'm gonna get the cake filling ingredients ready. Wrapped up some of the vanilla cakes got my um, raspberry cake filling made, and now I'm gonna do some caramel sauce. So I checked everything off my list for today, and tomorrow is gonna be another busy day. Good morning, it is Friday, and today I am outside the dentist's office. It is 10 to 8, I have an appointment at 8 to get my teeth cleaned, and then I have to run down to the bulk barn to get a few things that I forgot. All right, so I am back from the dentist in the bulk barn. I had to get a few things at the bulk barn, just like random um, chocolate chips and stuff like that for the cookies and stuff. Right now, I think I'm gonna start with decorating the wedding cakes for tomorrow. Two separate, two tier cakes. But basically the same style, both brides want the same thing. I might start with those first because if I get those done, I can get them in the fridge and um, setting for tomorrow. Uh, and then I can worry about the cookies and the blondies and brownies after because those take less time. All right, so I mixed up all the buttercream. And as you can see, if you can see, there's air pockets. It just looks like air pockets everywhere. So if you went ahead and put that on your cake right now, it would be really, really hard to smooth out. So I said this before in an earlier video, but if you're new, wooden spoon. I learned this from, I don't know if it was Cake by Courtney on Instagram. Anyway, um, she uses a wooden spoon like this and just kind of whips it up with the wooden spoon. You can even hear the bubbles like coming out, like the air coming out of the buttercream. And it does decrease the volume of it, but it will be very easy to smooth out on the sides of your cakes. So take a few minutes and use the wooden spoon to smooth out your buttercream and you'll thank yourself later for all the work. So I have 
the first kit crumb coated and in the fridge my fridge is not big enough to hold two two cakes at a time especially two two tier cakes so i'm going to move on to making the first of the cookies i'm making chocolate crinkle cookies and they take um like two to three hours to set in the fridge like the actual batter before you can roll them into balls so i'm going to do that now and i'll be able to pop those in the fridge and then move on to the cake once it's set the crumb coat is set one of the two wedding cakes and here it is it's very simple at the venue tomorrow I will be adding flowers from the florist so um, I will try to get clips of that tomorrow but I have to this is the cake with the vanilla layers and there's raspberry filling the other one is just vanilla with vanilla buttercream there's no filling um, but one down one to go and then moving on to the cookies I have 45 minutes to do something productive. So I think I'm gonna measure out all of the ingredients for, I already measured out the ingredients for the brownies. So I'm gonna measure out the ingredients for the chocolate chips and the blondies. And the crinkle cookie batter is already in the fridge ready to go. So measuring out for two more recipes, then go pick up the dog. Normally I would come home and just keep working but my parents invited me over for supper, me and Seamus. So I kind of want to see them and I'm going to go have supper with them at five o'clock and then I'll come home and finish all of this after. So let's get to measuring. Right, so I have everything measured out for the um, s'mores blondies, the chocolate chip cookies, and the um, salted caramel brownies. Um, for the salted caramel brownies, I also made um, some caramel sauce yesterday, and I'll be swirling that through there. Okay, so I'm back from supper at my mom's. I have to get baking, bake these things, but first I have to vacuum the floor again, do the counters, and do something with my hair. for the night it is 10 p.m did the s'mores blondies caramel brownies chocolate chip cookies and the crinkle cookies so they're all ready i'm gonna let these cool a little bit cut them up and then 
put them in plastic bags and then tomorrow morning I'll be putting in the boxes. <music> Hi guys, it is Saturday and today I have two wedding orders. I look a little more glam than normal because I had to get all ready for the wedding I have to attend today. So I have all the cookies and everything on the table over there, over there. <laughs> and um, the cakes are downstairs in the fridge. It is now 10.30, I was up early. I took the dog for a walk and then got in the shower and got ready. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening and my um, week of cakes is over. I delivered the first wedding cake this morning with my sister. She drove me to the first location so I could hold on to the cake. Um, we set the cake up. They had a really nice setup in um, their garage. Because of COVID, they had a really small wedding and it was very nice the way they had it set up. They had a nice table for the cake and the sweets. So I made the cake and all the cookies and blondies and brownies. And then right after that, my sister had to drive me home because I had to attend the second wedding. We, had, we were at the wedding, it was really nice. And then I came home for a little bit and then delivered the cake, the second cake. And I'll insert that picture here as well. Um, so now we're just waiting for a little bit and then we're gonna head back out um, just for a small get together for the bride and groom. And that is it for this week. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Scroll down and hit that subscribe button. 95% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help me out if you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday.